Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Uncle John is not my uncle, uh, nor do I believe uh, is he named John. However, uh, he has taken to capturing some of the wacky moments that happen on the live video feed at live.perillo.com. And uh, he, I don't know what inspired him, but he decided to send off a uh, top five tips for cooking as a bachelor. Not cooking bachelors, but cooking as a bachelor. And uh, he writes, I know how hard it is to cook for just one person, and how most bachelors probably are never in the mood to slave away in the kitchen. Here are some tips to making some meals that will get you through at least a week. And believe me, I know my audience is full of geeks, and I guarantee a lot of them have likely never even seen a woman in real life. <clears throat> Number one, cook large portion meals that make good leftovers. For instance, cook the spaghetti sauce separate from the noodles. The sauce can be reused and then added in in order to make other unique meals throughout the week, like my famous hoagie spaghetti sauce sandwich with cheddar cheese. Oh, now you know you're going to have to share the recipe with us. Number two, top ramen. <clears throat> top ramen by itself isn't very good, but you can use the noodles instead of buying actual spaghetti noodles to save yourself a few bucks. These are cheap and easy to fix. Their noodles tend to cook a lot faster than actual spaghetti as well. Number three, slow cookers. Yes, indeed. Get yourself a slow cooker that you can cook stews, chili, and other large meals in. This will keep your food warm for a long period of time. And best of all, there's set it and forget it. Once everything is in the pot, the slow cooker will do the rest. Slow cooker is what I meant to say. Number four, make TV dinner style meals that you can freeze and just heat up from any day to day. So when you're not in the mood to cook, all you have to do is microwave. And this brings me to getting yourself a vacuum sealer system. They really work and can keep your leftovers good for at least a week. I wouldn't trust them any longer than that, though. That's true. Uh, I, as a bachelor, my tips, well, I, I would have recommended ramen. Uh, I also like, uh, I would live on cereal, um, cheese slices, or string cheese, potentially, um, toast, and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Sandwiches are, are usually pretty simple. You can throw anything on it. Um, another tip for, let's say you've got some wacky leftovers. You're like, well, I got a little bit of this. I got a little bit of that. I got a little of this. The best tip is one that Ponzi's been doing for years, and she says she learned that from her father. Um, throw it all into like a frying pan and then drop some eggs in there. I mean, of course, you'd want to, you know, crack the eggs open. You wouldn't want to use the, uh, he, heard, he heard me talking about food, and he actually thought I was eating, but I'm not wicked. I was just talking. There's nothing here. He's smelling. There's nothing. It's just a piece of paper, dude. See? Piece of paper. Anyway, putting the egg in with the leftovers makes for an amazing new meal. Uh, and uh, I think it's my biggest tip to pass back to both Uncle John and the rest of the community. Uh, very simple uh, tips to help make sure that uh, you stay fed at home and saving money at the same time. If anybody else has got any good uh, cooking tips for those of us who can't cook very well or don't care to cook, uh, feel free to pass them along. My email address is chris at perillo.com. And you're also welcome to swing by the website with the chat room and this live video feed. You never really know what's going to happen in the live video feed. Uh, we do all sorts of content on a daily basis and it's largely related to technology stuff, but every once in a while, um, my dogs like to get on. What are you doing, dude? There's nothing on the desk. He's licking my desk. You missed a spot. Yes, this is the dog who puked on my MacBook Pro. And so why I allow him on the desk anymore is beyond me. Anyway, you can meet me and Wicket and the rest of the crew, including Uncle John, 24 hours a day. Well, we're not always here, but sometimes we are. Seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. Sorry, did I hit you there? <laughs>